Welcome to another edition of Tesla Tips and Trips. You join me here at an Electrify America station. We are testing out the CCS adapter under ideal conditions. The battery is warm, it's been preconditioned, faking it out going to a supercharger, and it's at a low state of charge. So we're gonna see how this new Tesla CCS adapter performs on a 350 kilowatt unit at Electrify America. Keep it here. All right, so the name of the game for this video is speed. ka -chow. Thank you, Lightning. Uh, <laughs> unfortunately, the 350 stall is uh, being used right now, so this video will be focused on the 150. We are, I think, under ideal conditions. I'll show you in a second, but uh, we wanna try to get that to the max. We're gonna see how fast the CCS charger will go on a 150 stall at Electrify America. Hang on a second. Our figures and facts and stuff, we are at 14%. Uh, this is a Tesla Model Y performance. There is 38 miles on the uh, battery, and we have been faking it out, uh, pretending to go to the local supercharger in order to precondition. Now, we've been driving for 45 minutes to an hour. The preconditioning stopped, so I'm assuming that uh, the battery is ripe and ready to go and nice and warm. So let's go plug in. All right, so quick update, we got a 350 stall, so now we are definitely gonna be able to check out these max speeds. Hope for the best, wish us luck. All right, here we go, we're gonna give this a shot. We've got our adapter right there. And the app. And the app, ready to go. Wish us luck. It's so funny, we have to have, we have, to have luck wished upon us, whereas at supercharging, it's just you know pretty automatic. We are plugging in CCS, Electrify America. Yes! I'm a little too enthusiastic about this. All right, it's plugged in. Fire it up on the app. I did it. We got blue, which means it's uh, talking. What do we got here? Initiating charging. I hear uh, fans moving. That's good. I hear clicking. I hear ramping up. I see blue, I see blue. Lots of, oh, green, green, flashing green. All right, let's go check out the car. We are charging. 127. And check that out, 128. Let's see if it ramps up anymore. So the details, we have been uh, preconditioning for supercharging, faking it out, saying we're going to a supercharger, when in fact we're coming to Electrify America. Um, we've been driving around for about an hour. The state of charge, I'll show you once again, is pretty low. Um, and we're still ramping up here. We're at 131, let's take a look. So 131, right there, and then we are at 42 miles on the battery, 15%, so low state of charge. We've got, like I said, low state of charge, a warm battery. Um, I think these are ideal conditions. We're at 131. Let's go take a look at the, uh, the Electrify America stuff. We are certainly on a 350. And this says 135 kilowatts. And this one says 135. So there's a little bit of loss in transmission. That's why we're not seeing the same in the car. And we've got, uh, what is that, 16% here. And We're the app's, been going for one minute. The app is lagging. It says zero kilowatt. And the app is lagging, which is not, you know, that off. All right, so we are getting good speeds. I was hoping to see better speeds. We're at 132 now, 133. It's still going up. So we're going to hang out here for a little bit, see if we can get even higher but certainly better than our CTEC CCS adapter, which you've seen other videos on the channel about. Um, and those are, you know, they top out at about 50. That's the max we've ever seen on that one. Um, so 133, you know, we're getting in supercharger land here as certainly a great option if you're on a road trip. And um, you know, these Electrify Americas, they're everywhere. So it's kind of cool. All right, so we've been keeping an eye on these speeds. Um, it's been kind of bouncing around between 135 and 139 has been the uh, the peak. Let's take a look at what it's at right now. It's been a kind of a, a good sustained rate though. Right now, we're looking at 134, but a second ago is what? What was it? 139. 139 was the peak so far total. Um, still not approaching the 200 and 250 mark, which is what I was hoping to find under these conditions. Cause again, these are about as 
as good as you're going to get, especially like on a road trip. Um, but who knows? I mean, there's so many other factors that we can't, I mean, we're probably sharing with this guy next to it. I don't know how these particular EAs work. Um, no, we can't be sharing because then we'd be down in the 70s, I think. Um, anyway, it's been a pretty consistent mid 130 kilowatt range for this entire session. Um, 136. So, I mean, this is definitely a value or a, uh, uh, a useful tool in your toolbox of charging when you're out and about, for sure. I mean, I even considered the 50 kilowatt because by the time you go inside and, and shop, because they're all at Walmarts, um, and come back out, you're good to go. You've got a good charge, even at 50 kilowatts. And, and with the SeaTech adapter, it was still a good sustained rate, good long duration of, of speeds. And this is just basically the same thing, only faster. So CCS, this is this is awesome. This is a game changer. Very cool. I can't wait. We definitely want to do a video where we see almost, I heard somebody got 233 on this adapter. So I'm not sure what conditions they were working with on that. Um, that seems pretty high and seems pretty awesome. Um, I'm pretty happy with 139 is what we saw at the high. So as soon as this begins to taper, we're going to go ahead and unplug and get out of here. Um, we're going to go supercharge because uh, we've got free miles for that. I'm actually having to pay for this. Ooh, what's that like? Okay, we have begun to taper. That means it's kind of slowing down now. Um, we've been here how long? 11, 12 minutes. 12 minutes according to the EA. Uh, display there we are now dropping off to 122 kilowatts um which means we, we got here i think it was around 15 percent. was that right and we're now at 47 percent. so i think we're going to unplug yeah we're definitely dropping now um so uh, i want to go supercharge we're going to wrap this thing up and uh, go unplug all right so the particulars for uh this session 12 minutes 1161 that is a big old oh, ouch i just I'm got uh, the the hatch opened up on my butt, 49%. Uh, and uh, what do we have, 121 kilowatts. That's expensive, by the way, holy cow. I didn't expect it to be that expensive for that amount of time. Anyway, that wraps up this session. We were all about speed on this one, so it's worth the cost. I'm, I'm paying for you guys. All right, this is it. You can only get it in uh, South Korea right now. It is not available in the US. I've got another video on how you can get it from South Korea. So uh, go check out that video. And again, thank you so much for watching Tesla Tips and Trips. Be sure to like, subscribe, hit the bell for more videos like this. Hey, so this is a new uh, informational message on the screen that just popped up. We've never seen this before. And this is definitely uh, related to this particular adapter. Check this out. CCS cable button not intended to stop charging. So you gotta do that, right? There's an ID4 wanting our spot and we're done. Um, so CCS cable button not intended to stop charging, which means, you know, it's not like a supercharger. Um, there you go. Interesting message coming up on the screen these days.